to go through on the next slide how to renew your membership. And I want, just in case you don't know, all caregivers and all volunteers do have a login and they can renew membership. Um, we know that typically with spring renewal, it is troop leaders that are renewing most of their troop. So I kind of, these, um, I have some screenshots that I'm going to share with you. So it is kind of geared in that direction to renew multiple people at one time. Um, but just know that caregivers, it looks very, very similar and they can also do this on their own if they choose to. Um, but you can go ahead and go to the next slide. And the first thing that you have to do is log into the website. And I don't, if you have seen um, our, as we've redesigned our website a little bit, there is a little arrow into like into a door. Um, there's a green circle on that picture. I know it's kind of hard to see, um, but that is where you, where you click now to log in to your MyGS account. And on the next slide, it will pop up a window for you to enter your credentials. If you don't know what those are, you can for hit forgot password. Um, or if you have never set up your account and logged in, you can sign in now. Uh, and again, if you need help, if you just don't know what email address you've used because you've changed email addresses, uh, customer care can look that up for you at any time. And once you do that, next slide, it will, you will log in and this is going to be the screen that pops up and it's going to, you're going to be on a, just an account overview and you'll see the, um, the members of your own household at first. And on this, on this screen, there's nothing that you can do. You have to click out of it to actually start renewing. And on the next slide, so you're going to click on, first you have to click on my troops and then you click the troop that you want to go. And we know that there are many troop leaders who lead multiple troops. So you have to, um, you can click on both of them at this point. But for this purpose, we're clicking, I clicked on troop 9619. And then <clears throat> it will list all of the girls and adults down below that are active in your troop. Now, I also, there is a green circle, um, and that is if you have girls that have not been active this year, and but they were active last year, then and you want to renew them, they took a year off for whatever reason. If you show, if you click that show inactive and not returning members, it will bring up a um, a bigger list so that you can see those girls as well. Um, so go ahead and go to the next slide. And so all you have to do is there's literally just a checkbox um, next to the troop number that you you click the box of all the girls that you are going to renew. And if you have a girl that you know is not going to return for next year, you can check that not returning box. Um, or if there's a girl that is just isn't ready to renew at that moment, um, you can just leave it blank and you can just you can just skip it for the moment. And if you go to the next slide, you can scroll down. It Well, this is what it looks like if you scroll down. Um, I'm sorry, the girls are first and then the adults are further down. So on the adults, you do the same thing. However, with the adults, you also have to select the roles that you want them to, to renew. Um, so as you can see on the top with Jamie, I selected the troop co-leader. And when I, when I check that box of troop co-leader, it automatically checks that troop box for me so I don't have to click it twice. And then down below um, on Jessica Oswald, um, I only selected the Troop Fall Product Manager, and um, let's just say she's not going to return as the Cookie Manager next year, so I'm not going to. I don't have to check that box. Her membership will still be renewed, just not that role. So once you do that, on the next slide you have to scroll back up. Um, Above your girls, there is, once you have checked boxes, that button turns green that says renew and you just have to click it to go to the next page. And then you have to confirm the payment method for each participant. Now, for troops that are renewing multiple girls, the only selection that you are going to have is going to be credit card. You can see financial aid on the screenshot, but the only person, the only people that can request financial aid are caregivers. So if you have a girl in your troop that you are the caregiver of, you will absolutely see that option for her if that is necessary. Um, but for other members outside of your household, it will just show credit card. Um, and if you have um, adults, it will show the option to purchase a life lifetime membership for them, 
or if you have graduating seniors, um, it will show you the option to redo, to purchase a lifetime membership for them as well. So that's why you have um, girls, you only choose the next that says current year, it will say next year um, once this opens up. But that's, and then you have to, and you hit next participant and you go to the next one and um, until, until you make your way through the entire list. And then on the next slide, it'll bring up that the can it'll show that you have selected all of those and then you hit review cart and you will come to the screen that'll show a summary of everybody that you are renewing and when you and off to the right hand side you see the girl scout promise and the girl scout law and in order to add the payments and proceed with everything you have to agree to the uh, promise in law and that checkbox is down at the bottom and once you hit that checkbox, that uh, green button will light up that says add payment details and you select that. And then it will take you to the screen that adds your credit card information. Okay. And that is it for renewal. Um, and I will check the chat log if I see some questions coming in. But um, the other thing that does open on April 1st is extended year membership. An extended year membership is $35 and they get a membership for this year. So, so for membership year 2023 and membership year 2024, that becomes an option. They get that discounted rate. It's $15 off um, for two. So for two years, um, rather than the what it would cost $50 if they bought them separately. And this is for new members only, but it is for girls and adults. So that does become an option and is it, it is an option from April 1st through um, July 1st. Um, so that is That opens on April 1st as well. So if you, we get new girls, we would love to have them join over the summer and then they can attend council programs, uh, hopefully attend camp, and then they will also be um, ready to join a troop in the fall. Next slide, please. Okay, and this is just, um, these are all the ways you can get in touch with customer care, our phone number at the top, that email address, um, and then the, um, the slide deck will be sent out. And that contact us page, that is a link. That's just the page on our website where you can um, submit questions or anything like that. And we get all of that and we're happy to reach out to you too. I think that's it for me. And I'll be in the chat. Awesome. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah. All right.